What's up guys, Ryan from h &S Motorsports here. We're out here in Southern California at Glen Helen Raceway. We're over here at the Stasic track and we're gonna be comparing today the Super 73 and the uh, 02 Flea. We're gonna kinda see how these two stack up. Now, right off the bat, this uh, Super 73 has a 34 volt, three amp hour battery. Technically 2.9, but you know, we'll say three amp hour battery. The oh, uh, 02 Flea does come with a five amp hour battery. Um, we changed this one, this is an aftermarket one that we made. Um, does come with a five amp hour, 20 volt battery. They both have a 350 watt rear hub drive motor. Um, the only difference here is Super 73 calls theirs, I think it's like a seven or 750 peak. I mean, that's just, you know, if you up the voltage, then you can get that kind of peak out of it. Um, but both of these are gonna be the same motor. Similar styling seats, but the big difference here is this bike costs $499, $500, and the Super 73 is $1299 or $1300. So we're gonna kind of dive into it and see what the differences are, which one you think you would like, and which one you would prefer. So we'll kind of start with the Super 73. We'll do the positives here real quick. Um, it does have hydraulic brakes. It has regenerative braking on it. It does have the moto style seat on it with the, um, you know, the frame. Uh, it does have a quick swap battery and it comes with wider, bigger 2.4 tires. So those are some of the positives here on the Super 73. And again, this bike is $1,295 or $1,300. The Zero Two Flea here, this one is $499. It does not have hydraulic brakes. It does come with disc brakes though stock and it comes with a 20 volt, five amp hour battery. So run times, you're gonna be pretty comparable. Um, they're both gonna last roughly an hour. You can get longer on the Super 73 because it has regenerative braking. So, you know, if you're doing some downhill rides, you'll definitely be, you know, gaining some energy to charge back to the battery. Um, you know, so that's definitely a plus there, but really where the flea misses the mark compared to it is the 34 volt battery versus 20 the hydraulic brakes, those are kind of some of the bigger things on there. But what we have is we do have a battery adapter so you can actually run a 40 volt battery on the Zero Two Fleet. Now this takes the top speed from roughly 11 to 13 miles an hour up to 24 miles an hour versus a Super 73 at 15 miles an hour. So that right there is gonna be a big savings. Um, these battery adapters are about $69, $70 right now on our website. You can go ahead and get a 40 volt battery like this. We have it linked in our description so you can pick up one of these batteries and a charger is roughly $100 for both. So $100 for that. $70 for the adapter and then we do have our own custom made hydraulic brakes that you can go ahead and put on the Zero Two Flea. We've already tested that before. Uh, got the Ryanville Poto Seal approval on that. Um, so we have those in multiple colors as well. So those brakes are 50. So with everything, you're looking roughly about a 250 or so upgrade with everything. So then that takes the price of this bike from 500 to about 750. So now you've made this bike really similar minus the regenerative braking. 750 versus 1295. So it really kind of depends on your budget, what you like. If you like the Super 73 name and style, well then you know the Super 73 is gonna be perfect for you. You can put wider 2.4 tires just like these Super 73 styles on here. Um, you know, our riders, they like these gum tires with the brown sidewalls. They really prefer that with the silver. Um, these come in silver and white frame colors. This one has four different colors. Um, so kind of that's just the, the differences on it as well. Um, the grips are also smaller on the Zero Two Flea versus the Super 73. Uh, depending on the size of your rider. What's up, Keegan? Having fun? Oh yeah, go out there and ride, dude. Go rip it. Oh, battery died. Good thing we got quick swap on those. So that happens. The battery dies. Just go ahead, take it off. Oh, well, that sucks. Performance issues. I've never had this before. How do we do this? Pull this up. There we go. And then pull it off. Hey, you know what? It happens. We're filming. So go ahead, take it off, and you put another battery back in there, and then you're ready to ride. So that's really going to be the uh, main difference between these two bikes. Um, so again, you know, we'll go out here, we'll go try them at the track, we'll see how they work, and you know, kind of compare them. We'll do some side-by-side -side tests with the stock battery, and then we'll do it also with the 40-volt battery, and you know, see what happens. So let's go out to the track and let's go check them out. <laughs> Okay, so right here we got the Zero Two Flea with a 40 volt battery adapter, then we got the Super 73, 34 volts. 
So we're gonna go ahead and see how they compare both direct drive motors, okay? Riders ready? Look at the gate. Drop whenever you're ready, John. Okay, so now we switched riders on the Super 73 and the Zero Two Flea, and we got a Stasic 18 over here that joined us, so that's a 40 volt battery as well. So we'll see how all three bikes compare. Riders ready? Look at the gate! <laughs> 